Hey guys, today is an experiment day. We'll try to make a camo with this popular maize meal and see how far. <laughs> I've been skeptic about doing this experiment because it says pre-cooked on the pack. We normally use raw corn for our camo. I'll be giving my feedback on this at each stage of the process. The maize meal comes in two different packs. This one is white maize meal for making white akamo. And this one is yellow maize meal for yellow akamo. When you want to buy akamo, do you go for white akamo or yellow akamo? I'm a yellow akamo person. Yellow any day. <laughs> First, I'm going to sieve it because this ingredient is coarse, making it too rough to be used for akamo. I'll use a chiffon cloth rigged up like this to do that. I mix it with water till there are no lumps. Then start the long and laborious process of sieving and rinsing. till all the fine particles have passed through the chiffon cloth and you are left with the chaff. After each round, ring and take out the chaff. Then repeat the process for the rest of the maize meal. Here's the chaff I got from one kilo. A lot, right? <laughs> if all these are chaff, I wonder how much akamo is in the water. <laughs> Cover them and set aside to settle. I also sieved the yellow one. I said okwa today. I must do this experiment to finish. <laughs> I'll use this one to make swallow meals. That's corn fufu. See them. I'll leave them here to settle. And I also want to leave them here undisturbed for at least 24 hours so that it will hopefully develop the sour akamo taste. So this is after 48 hours. I checked it after 24 hours, but I did not see any signs of the sour smell. So I decided to leave it for another 24. You can see signs of fermentation, which is what gives a camo the sour taste. And the particles have settled as well. Slowly decant the water. <laughs> the way the particles are moving, eh? it's not encouraging at all. Though. If it were raw corn, it will stay put at the bottom, but this one is moving too much. I can already see this going the wrong way. It's too watery.
then pour it into a muslin bag for Akamos so that the final traces of water can drain off. Place heavy objects on it to speed up the process. Yes, every heavy object. I don't want story. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's the next day after putting this uh, maize meal akamu to drain. I still have my weight. <laughs> It's early in the morning. I hope to finish doing this before my kids wake up for school. dry very well like this one still dripping see I need to tie it up and put back the weights but still I want to make a come now to make sure it works because the way I see this pre-cooked maize meal that it will be good for our camel. Feels like custard has already been made. Let me just make it a little.
let me bring the camera closer so you guys can follow me see what is going on in this place Exactly what it looks like to me. Okay. I'm even afraid of adding more water to this. Anyway, let's pour hot water. Do you see that? This is not a cam. I knew it. I knew it. Look, it's just getting waterier and waterier. <laughs> if there's anything like that, madre me. What a waste of time. Down the drain it goes. Hmm. So no walk. <laughs> That's an experiment gone wrong. Yeah. You guys know that at least I know how to make akamo. I have so many akamo recipes on this channel. So this is not a question of not knowing how to make akamo. Please, has anybody tried making akamo with this maize meal? and done so successfully please let me know in the comments because i've always been skeptic about trying this for years it's it's been more than it's been about five years at least that people have been asking me to make a camo with this and because i see the pre-cooked on the packet i was skeptic because you know if the maize has been cooked already and then ground in the powder and dried i think it has broken the chain of the starch somehow yeah so akamo is best made from corn dry corn that is raw you grind it raw like you soak it raw grind it and then make the akamo but this one they said pre-cooked that that made me stay away from this experiment but recently someone Ask me this question again. I said, okay, let me just try this and lay it to rest. <laughs> Let's settle that with that experiment here. Yeah. Sadly, even if it made good akamo, I will still say that it's a lot of work. It's still a lot of work sieving it because I have a video on my channel where I talk about using corn flour, the very fine corn flour with the one that is known as cornstarch in the US to make akamo. You add lemon juice to it and you have the perfect akamo sour taste. So if you can buy corn flour, the very fine corn flour or cornstarch where you live, I don't see any reason why you would want to even sieve this. Yeah. But that is as good as akamo for me. Yeah. So and cheaper because this maize meal is quite expensive more than the same packet of corn flour that we buy here yeah it's quite expensive and all that work all went to waste madre me yeah look at them looking like ice cream <laughs> because if anybody knows what i can use this for please let me know it has a sour taste like akamo and it's fine like corn starch yeah i don't like wasting food <laughs> 
so that's another day of jollof mass gone at least you know what not to try in your own kitchen i try these things so that you don't have to bye bye see you tomorrow <laughs> at the usual time